Dave Perez writes, hello, Collider. First, let me just thank you all for providing the best and most enjoyable source of entertainment news for so many like me. Are there any lesser known slash underrated films that are special to you for emotional reasons, good or bad? Maybe it reminds you of a specific moment in your life or you just happened to see it at a time where you were experiencing something similar. For me, one particular film is the 1993 Michael Keaton film, My Life, in which he begins videotaping lessons for his unborn child because he has terminal cancer. It is particularly memorable for me because I first saw it during my own father's battle with cancer, which he sadly lost soon after. Thank you and keep on keeping on uh i had a, I have a similar situation as dave um the movie 50 50 for me mm. has a special place in my heart because uh i was going i had a, a family member that was going through a similar thing and just watching that movie it, you know everyone thinks of it as a comedy because it's joseph gordon levitt and seth rogan but there's a lot of dramatic elements to it and especially the end have you guys seen the movie oh yeah at all? it's a great movie. The, the ending before he goes into surgery with his mom and his dad like i got choked up oh, yeah. a lot just seeing that scene i mean joseph gordon levitt he you know his acting performance just in that little short moment just like really really touched me so that's mine uh young at heart i bring it up all the time young at heart and and excuse me different one is um Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. You go through oh, a breakup yeah. and watch that yeah. movie, look out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but as far as Young, Young at Heart is just, it, you watch that movie. It was it was a smaller um, documentary about these older people that were in the in the, an old home, but they go and, they, and they, they're like a choir, but it breaks your heart, man, especially with your, your grandparents and stuff too. So that was one that got me. Yeah. Um, about Time is mine uh, because- uh, Time travel. Yes, about yeah. Yeah, time uh, travel. It brings a tear to my eye. The, the, <laughs> the time that you did it, right? Yeah, yeah, the time you yeah. did it brings back memories. I just memories. stood in yeah. the closet and called Yeah, uh, because I lost my father to cancer as well, and this film came out about two or three years after he had passed, and I just started the process of accepting his death and recovering. That film broke me wide open, and I actually bought it a couple of weeks ago at the Costco for like eight ninety nine on Blu-ray, and I've watched it a couple times since. It's a really moving, powerful film about losing your parents yeah. and so it's like and what that does to you and the effect it's beautifully done and if you don't tear up I don't know what to tell you the ending man yeah, yeah. just yeah. a conversation that conversation yeah. between his, the last conversation well I don't want to ruin it but the yeah. conversation between the father and son is so powerful when yeah. it happens and it's a very movie and I would say uh, Hereafter which a lot of people don't talk about or like of a Clint Eastwood film, I think that film is an awesome exploration of what it's like to be removed from society mm -hmm. and find your way back into it through your own uh, through your own means. And I uh, thought it's one of Matt Damon's best performances that I've ever seen that no one talks about. I'm glad you brought up Internal <clears throat> Sunshine because oh, yeah. that's one for me because I, I watched that right after a, a breakup of a, <laughs> It'll get you. a, a long term relationship and like just watch and then uh, it's like therapy though. Oh yeah. Yeah it, it is, on. but yeah. it's it's tough to watch. It's tough therapy. Especially yeah. because because I've argued with with some people about this. I think I argued with, with Roth about the ending because people take the ending in different ways because some people take it as like, oh, that's an optimistic ending. And I take it as, uh, oh, here we go again. You like, oh, really? See, yeah. I, I'll go the optimistic side. Okay, I, yeah. Yeah, maybe, I just, maybe that says something about me. Yeah, no, because <laughs> like, I look at it and I go, <laughs> yeah. I go. Well, what we just watched in this movie, we're just gonna go through that all over again. But you know what it is that's that that turns it into an optimistic is because that's the that's kind of the point that kate winslet is making is the point you're making and jim carrey's okay yeah that's the point is just like if that's what we got to go through again we're meant to be with one another and if we have to go down that same path it's going to happen again but we've got to go through it together that's what i loved i've seen that i just watched it again like recently it is still if i was going to make like a top 10 it's probably definitely in my in my 10. yeah i would agree with you completely it is definitely in my top 10 yeah. ever made and you're right that moment where she says that to him and he says, oh, yeah, oh, the okay moment is the acceptance That's what it is. of the inevitability. You take out the okay, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you, you, you're going to love who you're going to love. And there's people will talk then, about that, it, and there's to no me, way is, out that's of the, it. That's the, 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 so, such a depressing part of it, well, is that. Is well, that you can't help it. Right, and you can't, and you can't help it, and, and it's going to happen to you yeah, again. It's inevitable. <laughs> hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.